Well, Pirates fans, the 20-year drought is finally over. The women Pirates have finally been selected into the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament with the nine seed. Who are they playing, you ask? Well, that's the eight seed Rutgers Scarlet Knights of all teams in the country. I caught up with fans and players to hear their reaction. Both last season, UConn put together another perfect season, winning a record ninth national championship. And meanwhile, the 8-9 matchup in that same public <laughs> This is a feeling that I, I can't even put into words, something that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. It was great. I just kept thinking about last year's game, and the crowd was amazing. I think the crowd was more pumped, and we, they were like, woo, we're going to be there um, supporting y'all, and that's what really matters. Just, you know, showing South Orange and our fans that we can beat them, and like last year was, was, wasn't, wasn't fair. And so this year we're going out with a bang, and we're ready to play Rutgers. I am absolutely thrilled. This is a great team. These girls have played hard all year. I'll tell you what I told one of them just a moment ago. The first game against Rutgers is payback. That other team, they lost a game, and we're going to give them their second loss this year. Well, you know, it is exciting. It's exciting for all of us, not just the gang that was here, but uh, all across the campus. I know students are in other buildings. We're watching the show tonight, and uh, you can almost hear the uh, the cheers going uh, all around the place. And, uh, you know, it couldn't be a better opponent to play. Rutgers, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, is a uh, even just adds the excitement that much more. I am so excited for these girls. They've played hard all season. They're a joy to watch. Um, I just love them. I love them personally, and I love them on the court. I definitely didn't plan on playing Rutgers. I mean... I've come across some pre-brackets, you know, um, and Rutgers was, wasn't even in our region, not even close to being in our region. And the fact to just see them, I mean, it just brought a ton of excitement amongst myself and my team. You know, it's something, it's a team that, you know, we're, we're very familiar with. Um, you know, they did knock us out of the WNIT in which they went on to win it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, bittersweet, you know, it's, you know, Rutgers is, is a good team, and we consider ourselves a great team, and we're going to, you know, put our all into that game. I see you guys went to the Big East tournament in Chicago. Are you going to be there in stores? You bet. I wouldn't miss this. Well, you know, and it's great that it's uh, close by. You know, it's not out in Waco, Texas, or somewhere crazy like that. And uh, I think there'll be a lot of pirates up in the stands on Saturday. We, we just came back from Chicago. Okay. So we were there. We followed them all over. We weren't such a big surprise because we had gone to Connecticut two years ago. So they kind of expected us in Chicago, and we're going to be there. You know, I think we will still consider it being a home game. Um, a, a lot of our crowd uh, fans are going to be there. Um, our family, friends are going to be there. Um, and, I mean, it's, when we traveled to uh, Rutgers uh, last year, a lot of our fans was there. So it's going to be the same thing. Our fans are going to travel, you know, to Connecticut and, and see us play. And that's key. We play really well in front of our crowd, whether it's a home game or away. As long as that crowd there, you know, we're, we're going to be able to, you know, put on a show for them, and that's what we will do. Um, my prayer for Rutgers, I don't know. I think we mostly have to focus on ourselves and just, you know, executing our plays and, you know, ready to play defense. So I, I really don't feel like we should focus more on Rutgers. I think we need to focus more on ourselves. How do you feel about playing Rutgers? Huge rival. You know what? We were at the Rutgers game last year. We're going to come back and win. I think it, I think it's a redemption for the girls, and it's going to be a good time. You know, when you hear Rutgers and Seton Hall, it's just – you know, um, it's an in-state rivalry for some reason. And, you know, when, when you're recruiting, you know, kids, you know, they don't think of Seton Hall when they think of Jersey. Well, yeah. not no, well, I mean, now they will, but, you know, before they did and they thought Rutgers instantly. And uh, that's something that I want to change for the program. You know, and this game will definitely um, put a stop to that. Well, Pirates fans, there you have it. This Saturday in Stores, Connecticut, the number nine seeded Pirates will take on the number eight seeded Rutgers Scarlet Knights, Scarlet Knights, a battle of New Jersey in Connecticut. Signing off for Hall Talk, I'm Johnny Canetta.